Hello In The Loop fans, Dan here. We have a special, special treat for you today. As you can see, we're at Claremont Steel Fabrication Plant in Ohio. We do have uh, some Valraven track, some dive machine track. Man, that thing is huge. But they have a ton, and I mean a ton of that track here. Lift hill parts, all sorts of straight pieces. And then they also have Mako. Now, this makes me happy because, as you know, I've been covering Mako for a while. So all these parts are about to make their way to Florida. So I will see them soon. You know that we're going to get them on video and photos, of course, for our updates. But there's a lot of track here that's going to be making its way very, very soon. Just for comparison's sake, as you can see the dive uh, coaster track there, we have Mako. Just look at the size difference between the two. That's incredible. The one on the left is a hyper coaster, which is over 200 feet tall. Same with the one that's on the right, Val Raven, but the absolute size of that track. The track looks all beautiful like that. It usually is like that. It's covered in rust, looks ugly, horrible. But that's actually a good thing. Uh, it's to protect the steel so it doesn't oxidize anymore or anything else like that or become brittle. But just one of the many steps in building a roller coaster. Another section of the Val Raven track here for the lift. Again, this thing is absolutely massive. I don't know how else to say it. I mean, pictures don't do this justice. I mean, that's a truck, that's track. I mean, it's almost as big as the truck. So just like the support that we saw that was horribly rusted and whatnot, they do the same with the track. That actually looks like possibly some Mako stuff right there. But they've got a lot of it back there. There's a section of Val Raven lift hill right there. And we'll go around the other side so we can get a better view. And now we're getting a better view of the Val Raven top of the lift hill piece. That right there, looks like it's completed. They do have a lot more Val Raven track behind over there that's still rusted, hasn't been painted. A lot of track. Well guys, that is going to do it for our update from the Claremont Steel Fabrication Plant. I got to say, this is one of the neatest things I've actually had a chance to do since I've been an enthusiast. To actually see where they make these rides. Fury, Tatsu, everything. I mean, all of the rides that I've been on B&M wise have come from this very location. So a very, very special, neat feeling for me. As always, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and our YouTube page, at In The Loop Podcast, and I will see you out on the Midway.